Edith Bowman, 48, candidly described the upset she felt when her BBC Radio 1 afternoon slot was moved. The radio presenter had been a host on that same slot from August 2004 until July 2009, when she was moved to weekend breakfast. Edith was then axed from Radio 1 completely in 2014. She continued her hosting duties on a weekend morning show on BBC Six Music, as well as her own podcast. Now Edith has explained she was edged out of the station before her program vanished. She said that, at the time, the changes left her feeling too speechless and upset. Edith claimed, lies and deceit are extremely strong words, but the discussions he had been having with management at the time about my future were very far from what I was being told in the meeting. The conversation was the opposite of what I was expecting and it absolutely floored me. So I just felt incredibly let down because he'd given everything I had. She added to Psychology's magazine, at the time I was too speechless and upset about it. Following her move to the weekend slot, Edith was moved to Tuesday night's The Review Show in 2012. About the changes in her schedule, Edith said, I knew that I was being edged out by Radio 1, but the review show ended up being one of the most joyous experiences I had in my time there. Express.co.uk has contacted the BBC for comment. Earlier this year, Edith spoke exclusively to Express. UK about her extensive career in UK radio. The music industry veteran was preparing to launch the third season of her hit music discovery podcast, BMW Play Next. The program focused on new acts and championed emerging talent, featuring the likes of Arlo Parks, Sad Night Dynamite, and Ailwaya. Edith teased, this year, we're doing five episodes. We're doing longer episodes this time because we got really nice feedback from people about how much they were enjoying the long-form conversations that we were doing. Edith also credited the success of the podcast to its format that plays whole songs for listeners. The way we're doing it makes us quite a unique podcast, she said. Even the Beeb, don't play tracks in their entirety in their podcasts. We do. I love that the commitment is there to both financially supporting the artists through paying them for us being able to play it, and then also giving them the musical platform to be heard on as well, 